now. One student is dead. Another fighting for his life after a crash this morning in Anderson County. The coroner tells us this all happened after a large bird, possibly a turkey, flew into the student's windshield. Our Peyton Furtado is live in Anderson County with the latest. Peyton. Yeah, Mark, the coroner's office actually just released the name of the victim in this case. They say 17 year old Abigail Callahan died in this crash. Abigail Grace Callahan is what she's called by her family members. We're told she died from multiple traumatic injuries and her death is being ruled as an accident. Feathers and car parts littered clamp drive after a fatal wreck just after 11 Tuesday morning. A Chevy S10 pickup wrapped around a tree, airbags deployed. The coroner says two students were inside. Came around the curve, a bird flew out of a tree, according to our witness, and hit the car on the windshield. Uh, the car went off the right side of the road, overcorrected, went across the center line, and hit a tree. The coroner, Greg Shore, tells us a 17 year old BHP student died in the crash. She did not have a seatbelt on, and uh, the impact to the tree was fatal. She and her boyfriend, the driver, had a four month old child together. That's the reason that she was doing early dismissal and changed her school schedule so that she could, you know, take the baby to daycare and then pick the baby up and have some time with the baby. Right now, officials say that boyfriend and BHP student is still fighting for his life. I know that he was transported with a trauma alert to ANMED by EMS. Um, he was talking to uh, the paramedics uh, on the way to the hospital, so we're praying that he'll have a speedy recovery. Peyton, this is just a tragic situation. Words just almost can't express how horrible this is. We do understand a short time ago, though, the school district did release a statement, right? They did. Yeah, I'm going to read part of that to you right now. Uh, in part, they say, please keep Abigail Grace Callahan's family in your thoughts and prayers as we navigate through this difficult time. Additionally, we ask that you keep 12th grade student Thomas Kennedy and his family in your thoughts and prayers as he was also involved in the accident and is currently in critical condition. We will host our annual See You at the Pole tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. at BHP, where we will lift up prayers for both of these students and their families. Live in Anderson County, I'm Peyton Furtano for WYFF News 4.